Hi guys, we are so close to talking about protein moisture balance. But before you understand how to balance protein and moisture in your hair, I wanted to break down the different ingredients of protein and moisture and what you need to look out for if you have high, medium and low porosity hair. So without giving too much away, let's get into it. Now, we've spoken about humectants, let us talk about butters. First, let's tackle the butters that you want to look for. If you have low porosity hair, so the first butter that you want to look for is avocado butter because avocado butter has these moisture sealing properties and they also have high quality emollients with antioxidant properties. So you definitely want to look out for avocado butter. Secondly, you want to look out for murumuru butter. So murumuru butter is a really light butter. It is rich in omegas. It helps with elasticity and adds shine and controls frizz and also adds definition. So Requil has murumuru butter in their ingredient list. So check out their conditioner. Now, I really don't want to go into different products and talk about ingredients. If you want a video where I focus on these different products and I look at everything that I own and I check out the ingredients and then I break it down for you guys, let me know and I'll make that video. Guys, if you're enjoying the video so far, go ahead and hit that like button. Have you done it? Thank you. All right. So let's talk about some of the butters that are good for medium porosity hair. So what you want to look for in your products are number one, cocoa butter. Cocoa butter is really good for medium porosity hair because it promotes hair health, strength and healing. The next is Kupaku. I don't know how to pronounce this. So Kupauku butter? Kapauku butter? Yeah, let's stick with that. Uh, this is another ingredient that you want to look out for because it absorbs moisture, it moisturizes the hair and it helps with hair strengthening and it also helps to maintain a healthy scalp. So, girls with medium porosity hair, look out for these two ingredients. Lastly, let's talk about high porosity hair. Now, when it comes to high porosity hair, moisture retention is a huge, huge, huge problem. When it comes to high porosity hair, we already know that moisture is absorbed very quickly, but it's also released and lost very quickly. So the butters that you need in your products when you have high porosity hair basically need to be able to coat the hair strands so that it avoids moisture loss even further. So the first ingredient that you want to look at is shea butter because shea butter is pretty heavy and it works very well for damaged and brittle hair and it also helps to strengthen your hair. Secondly, you also want to look out for the ingredient called Takuma butter because Takuma butter is a really nice butter and it is a fantastic emollient especially for high porosity hair. I promise you these videos are very, very important for you to watch. Okay, I'm going to leave all of my sources down in the description. Please check it out because please remember that this information is not coming from me. This information is researched. I felt like you needed to have this information in video form because some of you prefer watching. So some of you are visual learners, some of you are tactile learners, some of you are auditory learners and we can't do anything if you're a tactile learner. But hopefully the audio and visual cues in the video helped you out and you have a better idea now on what to look out for in your ingredients when you're selecting products. Now look guys, I do not own all of the CG friendly products out there in the market, but hopefully this video helped you understand what to look out for and what your hair needs. And hopefully the information that you gain from this video can help you make better choices for you and your hair and your hair's particular need. All right, if you gain value from this video, as always, leave me a like, leave me a comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.